Hey guys, this is Moon Solari here, and today I'm going to be reviewing is the PlayStation Now service. For those who don't know what PlayStation Now is, PlayStation Now is a live streaming uh, service that allows you to play PS3, PS2, and PS1 games on your PS4 and your uh, mobile device. Here, as you can see, I'm playing Uncharted 2. Right here. As you can see, and I don't have a PS3 anymore. I sold it a while back. I would normally record it. I would normally record it, but unfortunately, this happens. Yeah, I can't record it, unfortunately, because Sony is stupid. So, uh, yeah, PlayStation Now. Display X and B menu. So, yeah, this kind of reminds me of PS3. <laughs> yeah, here, as you can tell, I can... It's pretty much like a PS3 menu list here's all my friends PS3 style kinda brings a little bit of nostalgia a little bit but uh... got a message right here taking something like this and yeah this is my first time seeing this I decided to finally try uh... I'll just delete these because I got these on my PS4. I sold, by the way, I sold the PS3 primarily because of um, I wasn't using it, so I figured why not sell it. So anyhow, let's get back real quick. So yeah, PlayStation Now. What do I honestly think of it? So let's uh, hold on a second. Let's save the game. Turn the game. Save the game. Let's save this real quick. You for the subscription, you don't get every single game in the library. Hold on, let me just pause this. Close game. Okay. Let's show you all the games that you get with this PlayStation Now subscription. You get um all the subscription all, right. all the subscription games include Infamous 2, Twisted Metal, Art Type Dimensions, Alone in the Dark Inferno, Operation Flash Operation Flashpoint Red River, God of War 2, Galaga Legions DX, Ascana Hearts 3, Last of Us, which is absolutely useless because it is available on the PS4, Batman Arkham City, Red Faction Armageddon, Bioshock Infinite, Walking Dead Complete First Season, which is also useless useless because it's available on PS4. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, Shadow Colossus, Ico, Uncharted 1, XCOM Enemy on Within, Dirt 3, Infamous 1, if, and Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, Killzone 3, 2K14, which is absolutely useless because not only is it available on PS4, but it's also 2K15's out. Final Fantasy X3, Ninja, Gaiden, Sigma 2, Grit 2, Dead or Alive 5, God of War, Ascension, Lego, Batman 2, DC, Superhero, Saints Row 4, Motorstorm Apocalypse, Red Faction, Guerrilla, Russian Clank, Into the Nexus, Sly Cooper, and let me, I'm, I'm not going to read them, I'm just going to show them like this. These are all the games that are available. And for like $45 for 3 months, having access to all these games, it seems like a decent deal. I just did it for the free month, and I don't, I'm debating if whether I should actually pull through with this and continue my subscription because I really miss some PS3 games, and I need some interest. I'm bound by Flame, which makes no sense because it's not available on PS4, but most of these games seem good. Uncharted 2, it seemed a little grainy. The graphics seemed a little eh, but yet again... I think it's because I'm used to the graphics on the PS4 and not on the PS3 graphics. So I think that might be the reason why. So what happens if we load a game as simple, let's say, Ben 10? Ben 10 Omniverse 1. Let's just do that. Let's say you find a game, you, boot, you find a game, you boot it up. They tell you this is select, this is start, and that's to close the game and it's authorizing it. Here 
inactive for a while. This is an average connection. I'm thinking about renewing this. Unfortunately, there is. I wish there was a yearly subscription, not every three months. So this is how it starts. Then the game starts as if it was on your PS3. And it says, I'm signed in. Let's uh, see how the game's like. There. For those of you who think it's fake, there is no PS3 right here. I actually sold it. So, yeah. Alright, so it's loading the game. Everything seems. Blah, 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 blah. Saving content. Don't turn off the PS3 system. Alright. Extras. Game. Oh, let's go to games. I think. Alright, new game. Normal. Alright, saving content. I would normally record, but I can't because. Um, okay. This seems like a side scroller. I don't know if this is such a good idea. I'm getting kind of used to the whole Omnitrix is unpredictable and I need it most thing. Nonsense. All right. So. All right. All right. It seems exactly the way it was. Like I said. It seems to be exactly the way it was on the PS3. Nothing seems to be too bad. It's playable. Could have looked better if I used Ethernet, probably, but honestly. My first impressions of this service, it has potential. As they add more games that are more interesting, you know, they should add. I know they're adding Uncharted 3 and a bunch of more games later this month. So, um,. I'm considering, depending on how on my service with the month goes, how my experience is with this month, I might continue my subscription, but I decided to take the free month and see what the fuss is all about, and so far it looks pretty decent. What I recommend it, like I said, it depends on the games you see, it depends if you, if you get good enjoyment out of those games and you play them a lot, you find at least one or two good games that you if you find two, one or two good games on this list and they, they're going to keep you occupied for a while, then go for it. Because with me and you both know the PS4 library is kind of dry at the moment. But hey, you know, you get more games for your buck. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this quick review. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be announcing the end of the Last of Us series in my next video, unfortunately. But I just wanted to review this service first. And I'm going to get an unboxing of a mystery game out later today or maybe on my birthday. I don't know yet, but, you know, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope I helped you decide whether or not to get this service. So remember to like, comment, subscribe for more content. Unfortunately, not from here because PlayStation Now is stupid. The only gripe I have is that I should be able to record gameplay. Why can't you let me record gameplay? Like, you're technically recording. God, I wish, I hope if they fix that, they'll be perfect. So yeah, what? Peace.